This is a Ryobi full crank two cycle weed eater that we got last month. And it's a pretty good thing. I mean, it's the first weed eater I've ever used. It has the normal pull start thing and choke here and all that good stuff. And it has like an air filter made out of foam which I think you're supposed to put two cycle oil in but you don't have to um, yeah there's the choke right there uh, yeah uh, you can't really see it though there we go see choke thing it like does that and neat thing about this is that it doesn't what looks like it doesn't actually suck air in through the front, it actually sucks air in through the sides, which is unique, and I've never seen anything do that before. But mainly you know, probably because I've never owned a weed eater. Um I'm gonna fix this thing. Get it up in there. Oh crap. Was I even aiming the thing I got? Yes, there we go. Uh, of course. Uh. Ah, there we go. Now I have it. This is um a very interesting design indeed. So let's get this right this time. That goes in there, and that goes in there. Okay. This is very sad that I can't even get this cover on. Ah, put this down. Okay. 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 Eh, there we go. Yes. Okay. So, it has these starting instru instructions. I haven't even bothered to read them. It has a um, primer bolt back there. It's idling through the spark plug. Some sort of ventilation thing and the pull start. It's got a gas tank on the bottom. It takes a 50 to 1 mix, which I've never actually seen before. And it has this handle thing, stop switch here. And it has like this throttle lock, so just now the throttle won't move, but you have to push down on this thing in order for it to work. And then it has like the wire on the carburetor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it comes to this head. We used to own a Ryobi 725R weed eater, but that broke and we still have the head to it. So we just use that and we've attached it onto here and it works fine. It has the easy link thingy on it, whatever you call it. I don't really know. But yeah, um, it works very well. Uh, yeah, I really wish, like, on the Troy belts, it has, like, the spring assist starting systems. When they used to have, like, the MTD built trimmers and stuff. Um, I think the, like, this regular starting system is fine. It's just kind of annoying sometimes to use. Because it doesn't always work. So... I think I might give this a go and see if I can get it started for you. So, um. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you guys can see it. Alright. And now, let's begin. So, you push in the primer bulb ten times. I'll just do it five because I want to. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Set the choke to um, full. And let's try and start it. Maybe I might move it a little bit closer to the camera. You can see it a little better. Yeah. Yeah, leave it like that. Leave it like that. Okay. 
Actually, this isn't the best starting position. Start it here. It's like crazy. Ugh. Yeah, as you can see, the engine has a, a, a very unusual rev span, like full throttle you'd never want to do because the engine would just destroy itself. I mean, like, literally I barely even revved it and the thing was already spinning, maybe as fast as like, like a, one of those Weed Eater branded feather lights would have done. I mean, it's just... Remarkable how fast the engine will go if you rev it up all the way. And I don't know. That's one of the things I don't like about it. Also, I don't like how it's light green because that kind of looks ugly. And it kind of just looks, the engine looks ugly to me. I personally like those maybe like 2006 to 2008 MTD weed eaters the best. Like the Troy belts and all the Bolins and stuff like that. And the Craftsman. Those are probably my favorites. These maybe come in third. The Ryobi ones. Um, the Weed Eater branded Feather Lights come in second. So it's this like really weird protective shield thing here. Which houses the wires for the kill switch and everything else. Also the throttle cable. Whenever you use the throttle cable... It will focus. Come on. Focus. Uh, stupid camera. Come on. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you can barely see it because the stupid thing won't focus. Come on. There we go. As you can see, every time. I'm uh use the throttle cable. It rubs up against that wire which then makes everything move down here and it's kinda really bad. Yeah. There you go. And also fuel is always in the primer bulb. Like you can see the fuel there. And you can definitely feel the compression when you pull this thing. But I'll try and give you guys a little demonstration of it being used. Okay. No. Maybe like this. Yeah. You know it, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably plan this stuff out more when I'm doing this off-camera. So you guys don't have to watch, like, some guy figure out where he wants to put his camera. And what he wants to put it on, where he wants to aim it and stuff. But I don't feel like learning how to edit. 
Okay. No. That's not good. How about there? Let's buy that sauce. Come on! There. Fuck. Ah. Stay. Stay! Yeah, this isn't working. Okay. Stay. go there's the demonstration video of the Ryobi two cycle folk crank weed eater